Are you okay? Did she kill Magda? Or chop off her arm? <laughs> Sorry, just had a little trouble getting here because, <clears throat> well... <sighs> Look, I've got baggage. Uh, uh, Mother, stop it! I cannot control gas. Look, this is not how this was supposed to go. I came here to say that I meant every word I wrote in that text, and I swear to you, here and now, that I will never lie to you again. I find that hard to believe. Mother, stay out of this! Have you told Miss J.R. how you faked disability? Okay. Yes, I did pretend to be blind to make more money busking in Prague. She also cheated on husband. <gasps> it's true. I was unfaithful to Raphael. While he had cancer. Not my finest hour. Petra is a brunette. That I know. JR, <sighs> I mean it. I will never lie to you again. Ever. I love you. And I used to think my worst nightmare was turning into my mother. <sighs> now I know. It's living without you. Aww. And Jane didn't even have to write that for her. I've missed you every day since we broke up. And from one awkward trio... Nothing my mother does is okay. But she's not gonna change. I know. But we'll figure out how to deal with her. Together. Cut it off. You better have good aim. This is my only good hand. Shouldn't have lost the key, Mother. Door with your eyes closed. Ah! That's, that's not my thing. <laughs> I know, that would be so weird. Oh, you're still here. I decided to stick around a little longer. Hope that's okay. It should be noted that in that moment, Petra thought of her friend Jane and knew she needed to give her a heads up. But alas, she had other priorities. Yeah, okay. 